We have two high-tech and one low-tech products to maintain high quality production and, and achieve customer satisfaction. We wanted our automation for high-tech to be around 5, which in the end was around 4.2. For our low-tech, we wanted our automation to be around 8, in the end it was at 10. For our capacity, our goal was 1,500 for high and 1,000 for low. By the end of round 7, our capacity was 1,262 for high and 1,100 for low. As an industry, we decided to produce three products with two focused on the high tech and one toward low tech. The high tech industry has a growth rate of 20% each year and we wanted to center our attention on capitalizing that market while having a steady income from our low-tech sensor, Baker. With an automation level of 10, Baker's contribution margin was maximized at 64% and more than doubled its profits. We placed our high-tech products, Beavis and Butthead, just touching either side of the sweet spot in the high-tech market, differentiating our product from the competition while maintaining customer satisfaction. Looking at our competition going into round seven, we started losing momentum and market share because our competitors started using our strategy by putting two high-tech products right on the sweet spot. Um, right now our top competitors are Erie, Digby, and Anders. Focusing on the coming year, we will focus on the ideal position in research and development for our high-tech products because it has 33% importance where reliability is the least important. Moving on to marketing, we will lower the price of our low-tech product, Baker, to match our competitors. We will also lower promotion and sales costs because we are already at 100% customer awareness. No changes will be made to the high-tech products. While deciding what to produce in production for each product, we looked at the growth rate for each segment and how many units were sold for the previous year. For financing, by realizing the, impo the importance dividends play in our stock price, we will boost our dividends per share by 25%, 25 cents for the coming year.